Freeze frame photograph. My story exists only in the extinction of years gone by, never to be reborn. And while so many may embrace their story as who they are and always will be, their presence may crack and fade like an old book long forgotten, its magic lying dormant on its pages unexpressed. And though a photograph can capture a memory, a moment of beauty or emotion, or record a tragedy, it is still just a visual depiction of the past, never catching up with ever moving time. See, it can't capture the smell of a rose, or hear a baby's laughter, or feel a loving caress. And as a photograph must be viewed to express, a book must be read, its story must be spoken to be known, and to be known by your story, you must recount it over and over, polishing the dusty pages of a past faded by time. But my desire is to live present tense, to express and experience love, to soothe away a baby's cry, to see the laughter in my beloved's eyes, to drink in the beauty of humanity's blue, green, brown, and hazel eyes. To marvel at our rainbow shades of skin and the divine beauty that's held within. To share abundance with gratitude when helping a stranger. To be an instrument of peace by choosing love over anger. To cleanse my soul through the release of my tears and to live inside each note of a symphony, dancing joyfully with every molecule of my being. To speak future tense into being by the authority of my birthright, because only in this present tense of now can I meet you soul to soul and with the God in me, see the God in you. So as I stand here, naked to my soul, minus the tattered, layered clothing of past tense, I say to you, one day you may come to know me, but it won't be by the telling of my story. Thank you. What is poison? You may say it's simply this, that which causes the body to experience a severe adverse response to a chemical or substance which God never intended to be introduced to its creation. For that which consumes life should never be blended with it. What is poison? It's simple, you say, just read the bottle, keep out of the reach of children. But are we not all children? Not children by chronological definition, but by quantum definition. A definition that says that all matter is an outpicturing of, a manifestation of, a demonstration of, an offspring of an energy that has a vibration so fine that it cannot be measured. Evidence of it can only be observed at the subatomic level and is defined by quantum physics as spirit. Therefore, for the benefit of the scientifically minded, we are all children of God. So now I ask you, what is poison? From arsenic to acetone, ammonia to avarice, from drain cleaner to detestation, foxglove to fear, freon to fury, mercury to murder, Nicotine to invalidation. Scorpions and stinging nettle to separation and segregation. From venom to viciousness. Wonderberry to war. 
poison is that which causes the human organism to experience an adverse response to a substance, thought, or energy which consumes life. Keep out of the reach of children. Thank you.